What up, Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you my first best possible team. It's going to be Manchester United. Comment down below what other teams you do want to see. Also, if you want to see any other squad builders, hybrids, or one leagues, or budgets, whatever you want, put down in the comments. I do two to three a week. So if you're new, then subscribe if that sounds good. But anyhow, of course I do an abundance of other uh, FIFA videos as well, daily FIFA content. But anyhow, let's get on to the squad builder. So, Manchester United in goal, of course, it's David De Gea. Right back, we've got Antonio Valencia. Two centre backs, Chris Smalling and Eric Bailly. The left back, Luke Shaw. This is ratings, by the way, so it's the best possible rating. So the midfielders, I've got Rooney. Now, I know you can get one to watch Pogba, and of course, when he gets another in form, he will be that rating. But for now, 89, his in form is the exact same rating as his one to watch card, so there's no need for me to go out and buy the one to watch card yet. So he's still 89, so at the time of recording, this is the highest rated Manchester United team. Anyway, we've got Juan Mata as the cam. Mkhitaryan in right wing, left wing we've got Martial and then up top we've got Zlatan Ibrahimovic. So that is the highest rated Manchester United team as of the 3rd of October 2016. Of course when there's other informs or team of the seasons or whatever then this will no longer be the highest rated but as of now it is. So how does it play in game? Well, I thoroughly enjoy this team. I am a Manchester United fan, but even I didn't expect it to be as enjoyable as what it was. I thought it would have a lack of pace because, of course, really, Martial's the only one with 90-plus pace. Mkhitaryan has uh, 83, I think. Pogba's got decent pace for a central midfielder, but Mata, Ibrahimovic, Rooney, you know, they are lacking pace. So I was worried about that, but the creativity in the team see, it sees it through. I've played 10 games and I am undefeated with this team. Some of the score lines that you'll see in the highlights against some of my opponents in divisions are absolutely ridiculous. Honestly, it's just such a good team to use. And you would kind of expect that considering it cost me around about... I'd say 1.4, 1.5 million at the time of recording, which is the 3rd of October. It might be uploaded on the 4th or the 5th. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, it was just brilliant. And then you've got subs like Memphis, who's really overpowered on FIFA Herrera, uh, Rashford. You've got Schneidlin to bring on if you need a defensive substitute because of stupid injuries. Um, yeah, it's just a really well-rounded team. But as this formation seems to allow a lot of players to drift and I think having Pogba and Rooney in central midfield is just terrific because they walk work horses and they will come back and they'll allow the front four to drift and then they're also strong as well I like having strong midfielders Pogba is very tall as well so he wins a lot of aerial battles I've got to say my favorite player on this team will surprise a lot of people but it's Eric Bailly I use him in so many squads and he is literally incredible. Over 80 pace, over 80 physical, and over 80 defending. And I think he's six foot three. He's an animal on this game. It's so hard for people to get round him or past him. Is tackling superb? Like I might actually do a player review on Eric Bailly because I haven't really done any defenders as player reviews, but I really think I need to for this guy. He is absolutely incredible. Um, Ibrahimovic. I mean, with a hunter chemistry style, which I think gives him either five or ten pace, it's just it's just like cheating. It really is. He's so strong. His shots are so powerful, so clinical. It it's just really really refreshing. Like as a Manchester United fan, usually Manchester United teams on FIFA aren't too good. You know, you've got some good players that play all right, but or in the grand scheme of things, it, they haven't really been overpowered. But this. For me is overpowered it is my favorite team i've used so far it's fantastic quite matter 84 rated cam might not have the greatest stats but cams in general seem to be one of the most influential players particularly in this formation where you've got 433 brackets four and he really works in that role he's a he's in that little pocket just ahead of Pogba and Rooney and then just behind Martial, Mkhitaryan and Ibrahimovic. Another very important thing for any squad and I'll, I'll keep saying this throughout squad builders, make sure you put your crossing on manual. 
Automatic crossing never works for me. The keeper always gets it, but with manual crossing, the crossing abilities of Martial and Mkhitaryan are fantastic. Then you've got Ibra there, or you've got Pogba ready to run in from the box. Rooney, not so much. He's more of a defensive midfielder, which is why, obviously, he's a cam, but I've brought him back to centre midfield, and um, he really works in that role, in my opinion, and it allows Pogba to get forward, interchange with Mata, and then the front three, as I say, Martial, Ibra and Mkhitaryan, just fantastic. Honestly, if you haven't tried this team, I would recommend, well, <laughs> if you've got the money, try it, but later down the line when it's a lot cheaper, I would recommend you try it out because it honestly is just such a thoroughly enjoyable team and uh, this video was a real joy to make. So hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and yeah, peace.